Well, hey guys. A long time no see. It's been, what, two months, I think. Um, I have neglected you all. I am so sorry. I've been focusing on other things like painting um, and kind of checking out of the whole like chaos of the world. But, you know, I can't resist talking shit. So I'm back. Also, I want to thank you all for all the new subscribers, the awesome comments, and um, all the messages I've been getting from um, Instagram. You guys are great. I really do appreciate it. And I will make more Andrew Tate content eventually. I just haven't really been watching a lot of his stuff. I'll, I mean, that's not true. I On Instagram, I'm always sharing his clips because I love his mind and the way he thinks. Um, but today I am going to talk about something that happened to me in Miami at a gay bar the other day. Hence the title, Weaponization of the Social Justice Warrior. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, just so you know, this is nowhere near completion, okay? So calm down. <laughs> it is a mess. I don't know what's going on with this painting behind me. But I'm going to work on it today. And um, another thing, I really do like my small microphone. I get a lot of comments and messages saying to clip it on my shirt. No, I like holding it. In fact, I wish I had one that was really long and skinny, like um, the price is right. So let's just, just wanted to get that out of the way before we get started. Okay. Okay, now for story time. So, my best friend is gay. We go out to this gay bar all the time in Miami. I'm not going to name the names because I'm not trying to call anybody out. Um, but we're going inside and there's gay bingo. I think I probably just gave it away. I don't know if there's too many gay bingos going down in Miami. Anyway, so, oh my God, this is going to be annoying and long. I'm going to clip this video up so I'm not rambling. So, we're hanging out having a big old time like we do and this cute little chubby asian boy came over to me fabulous gay loved him um and he was like oh my god you're so pretty i love your dog you guys are so cute and i was like thank you oh my god you're so sweet blah 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 the whole thing right so we're chatting we're having a nice time and asked him where he was from and he said new york and I told him I had just moved here from LA and I think I prefaced that I left because of the COVID thing, the, like the craziness that was going down in LA. Like I had to get out. I could have sworn I was drinking, but I could have swore he said that he left New York for the same reason that he had moved to Florida. And I was like, Oh, right on. That's so great. Like, I thought I had a, I thought there was like a safe space for me to like say this. Well, thank God for DeSantis, right? Like big mistake, big mistake. He went ballistic on me and said that DeSantis was a bigot and a racist and all this crap because of the don't say gay bill. And I was like, oh God, here we go. Another one with the don't say gay bill. Like, Let's forget all the great stuff he's done for the state of Florida, but let's just focus on the don't say gay bill, which actually doesn't even say that at all. So I politely, I said to him, well, you know, it doesn't say that, right? Have you actually read the bill? It doesn't say anything about don't say gay. It just says we don't need to be talking to children about sex and gender, which I perfectly, I agree with. No one taught me about sex and gender below the age of what was it third grade i think the bill said and i grew up loving the gays had my flings with ladies been married like i made my choices as an adult not because i was being groomed as a child so he didn't really like that naturally he says i think you don't under i think you equate gender with sex and i'm like i don't I don't even know what that means. I just know that we don't need to talk to little kids from the third grade and below 
about any of that. Like, can we teach them how to write and read and all that stuff, right? So my friend, my best friend who's gay, joined in on the conversation and he was like, I agree with her. I am gay. I was never taught any of that stuff. I, you know, came out when I was young. It was rough in the beginning, but things turned out fine for me. And I also explained to him that my brother, who's also gay, came out when he was about 12. He was a chubby little cute boy, came out to me when he was 12, and he had a great experience. I mean, yes, there was some bullying naturally. That's what happens when you're a child. Um, but for the most part, he had a great experience. Well, this kid proceeds to say it's because we're white. And I was like, okay, we're done here with this conversation. Like, I'm not doing this with you anymore. It's like every little talking point, like he was just hitting on, you know? He proceeds to say, Florida sucks. Florida's full of racists and fascists and bigots. Like, so stupid. Like, so dumb. Um, and he leaves and proceeds to go to the host of bingo and tattle on us and tries to get us kicked out. Luckily, we knew the lady or the drag queen hosting the thing. And she was like, get lost. Like, I know them, like leave, leave, leave us alone or leave them alone. He basically said, okay, cool story, get lost, right? So then the little kid, the, the gay guy proceeds to go sit in a corner and stare me down the entire night like a psycho. So mad, just so upset. Like, just leave me alone, go away. And just sits here like this and stares at me the whole night. And I'm like, this is getting weird. So after the bingo's over, he then pulls the host to the back of the room and then tells on us, like as if we were gonna be punished or something. Called us racist, homophobes or whatever. Like the irony, right? It's so stupid. This is the problem I have with this social justice warrior crap is the dangers of it and how given the wrong, if we were in a different place, if a person that we didn't know and this little shit went over there and told them that we were racist and homophobes, who knows what would have happened? So, so the problem with the intolerant social justice warriors is that they they feel so emboldened by the media machine propaganda and big government that if you don't agree with them, you're gonna be taken down. Like they feel that they can go tattle on you because you don't feel the same way they do about certain issues. They've been influenced to such an extreme where they're like, in, they've actually become the intolerant ones, you know? Like God forbid you don't align with their views. They're gonna take you down. How is this any different from Nazi Germany? Those people were so brainwashed that they were turning in their Jewish neighbors because they thought that was the right thing to do because of the propaganda in the media. I mean, how is this any different? I don't see any difference at all. Like what happened to the days where we could just agree to disagree, you know, remember those days? But you notice how it's now, how the, me the media, um, celebrities, commercials, government, they push it so hard these days. So now these social justice warriors think they're on the right side of history. It's like, like when did, how do you think you're on the right side of history when you're not, you're aligned with corporations and big government and um, media? Like the, the cognitive dissonance is just beyond it really. Like I said in my other video, the establishment, which is the media, corporations, government, big tech, has created foot soldiers to do their dirty work. They've like brainwashed these little SJWs to go around and like attack. These little trolls, they go around and attack people that don't agree with them. They try to take them out. I mean, the Kanye West is a great example. Like him or not, he proved his point. They destroyed him because he didn't agree with the things they were doing the things they did to him. Some of you may not think this is a big deal because you think 
you align with them and like you agree, but there's going to be a day where you're not going to agree with what they have to say. Um, and they could destroy your life too. So it's a slippery slope. I know a lot of people don't see it as a big deal. I personally do because this, this story was like a perfect example of what could happen given we were in the wrong place with the wrong people. Um, they could have like kicked us out. I mean, who cares? But it's a big deal, right? Like we shouldn't, we should always be able to agree to disagree no matter what. And in this world, it's like coming to a screeching halt. Like either you align with us or we'll cancel your ass. So anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to get back to my painting. I'm sorry. It's been so long since I haven't made a video, but I try to do better and I'll try to do more Andrew Tate videos. Okay. Bye.